So I'm going to give you a quick review and then we we'll do a jeopardy. So I I can tell you a few questions. So you need to uh, separate two, maybe four groups, and then uh, we'll do a jeopardy. Uh, so let's first. Uh, oh, wow. <coughs> let's do tables. Can we do yeah. three groups? Uh, let's, let's first do a review. Because uh, it's completely hate my lips. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, the YouTube. Yeah. One of us is doing follow in the videos. Please make sure to subscribe. Join the group. Make videos. Please do Facebook and Instagram. Please like and ask questions. Yeah, this this guy uh, is very give a very, very quick review of the virus. The virus is a small type of particle. Oh no, I can stop. Compared to a bacteria, for example, viruses are much smaller. A typical size of a virus is about a hundred nanometers in diameter, but it can range between ten nanometers to about three hundred. Um, an erythrocyte, our red blood cells, are about 8 micrometers in diameter, which is about 100 times the size of a virus. So this gives you an idea of how small a virus can be. The structure of a virus differs between different types of viruses. But as a general rule, here we're just looking at a, um, a typical di uh, structure of a virus, you can say. As a general rule, they contain a capsid, which are made up of capsomere protein. This capsid is important because inside this capsid, um, we can find the genetic material of the virus. So viruses possess either genetic material made up of single-stranded RNAs, double-stranded RNAs, uh, single-stranded DNAs, or double-stranded DNA. They can also have partial strands, such as in the hepatitis B virus, which is partial to double strand DNA. The capsid, which contains the genetic material of the virus, can be either an isocathedral shape or a helical shape. Some viruses also have envelope, usually consisting of a lipid bilayer that carry the capsid material. But again, some viruses don't have it, and they only have the capsid itself. Viruses also can have virulence factors, such as certain receptors that target, uh, that allows the virus to target certain types of cells. Now, why would an envelope be useful for a virus? Well, as mentioned, the virus, um, the envelope is typically made up of a lipid bilayer. A human cell is also made up of a lipid bilayer. So if a virus would come along, they could fuse their envelope with the host cell, releasing the capsid or genetic material inside the cell, like shown here. So we can say that the envelope helps viruses attach to host cells. Now there are many types of viruses. Some examples include a bacteriophage that invades bacteria, Herbie's virus and um, cannabis. And there are much, much more, of course. Now, viruses are classified into groups or families based on the type of nucleic acid they can, uh, nucleic um, genetic material they contain, their structure, their shape, and their method of replication. So, based on all these classifications, there are a lot of different groups of viruses as well as subgroups. Anyway, viruses also in infect specific living cells based on the presence of suitable receptors. An example of this is that uh, an example of this is HIV virus, which only infects uh, the T helper cells. Because the HIV virulence factors, it complements basically, it can attach to the T helper cell uh, so-called CD4 receptor. Now let's take a look at a popular type of virus now called the bacteriophage and see its mode of replication. Remember, a bacteriophage infects bacteria. 
and not human. Um, later, we will see the general overview of how virus uh, replication occurs inside a human cell. But for now, we'll just see um, uh, how the bacteriophage uh, in infects the bacteria. We have to understand that all viruses, not only the bacteria. <coughs> I'm not sure which country this guy is from, but uh, he said bacteria fart. Uh, I think in the U.S. we mostly say bacteria fart. Uh, I'm not sure which. <laughs> yeah. So, but that's basically bacteria fart. We often say. Okay. Yeah. But all viruses always replicate inside another living cell. In this case, a bacteriophage will infect a living bacteria, a living cell and will replicate inside the bacteria. And this will result in different pathways. Now let's have a closer look. The bacteria contains its own unique DNA here. Let's call it the bacterial chromosome. When the bacteriophage, the virus, attaches onto the bacteria, it will release its genetic material. In this case, it's releasing phage the DNA from the cap capsid. The DNA is known as the phage DNA. From this point, the viral infection can enter what's called the lytic cycle or the lysogenic cycle. As a general rule, you can remember the lytic, that lytic sounds like lysis, and lysis means to burst, so this lytic cycle will result in the bacteria to burst, to die. Let's first follow the lytic cycle. In the lytic cycle, the virus, the bacteriophage, uh, the phage DNA, will take over the bacteria's cell machinery and begin synthesizing new bacteriophage DNA and proteins to create new bacteriophages, new viruses within the bacteria. The synthesis and accumulation of these new bacteriophages, these new viruses, will cause the bacteria to rise, to, to burst, basically, which will release these bacteriophages out. The bacteriophages can then infect other surrounding bacteria, and the cycle can continue on. The lytic, the lytic cycle is actually the most common uh, outcome of the phage infection. But sometimes the lysogenic cycle can occur. Following the let's have a look. Now, following the insertion of the phage DNA inside the bacteria, the phage DNA can actually incorporate itself into the bacterial DNA, the bacterial proteome, creating what's called a prophage or provirus. Now, what would this mean? In this case, the bacteriophage, the virus, is latent, the viral infection is latent, and does not cause uh, the production and synthesis of new uh, phage DNA and proteins, or does not cause the bacteria to lie. So basically, um, this viral infection is latent, meaning that it will cause no damage. However, when the bacteria itself divides, like because that's what bacteria do, they divide, the phage DNA is also copied, and this can keep occurring. So again, each time the bacteria divides, the phage DNA will also be copied, and so we would have more phage DNA. Now, this can keep occurring, the bacteria can keep dividing, and uh, phage DNA can keep being copied until one day the phage DNA decides to move out of the bacterial chromosome. So the prophage, the phage DNA, may excise from the bacterial chromosome. And then it can enter the lytic cycle. <clears throat> and so when, because it's, it's, it's out, the, the phage DNA is out of the bacterial chromosome, it can then enter the lytic cycle and cause the bacteria to burst. I hope that makes sense. Of course, there is another uh, pathway, not a, not a cycle, but another pathway. The lysogenic cycle can give rise to a 
specialized transduction in which the bacterial genes, the bacterial chromosomes, or part of the bacterial chromosomes, are transferred with the phage DNA to another bacteria through conjugation, for example. And thus, this will result in that new bacteria becoming infected as well. I hope that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, next, we'll look at how a virus can replicate inside a human cell. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, virology is a huge field, and so this chapter covers some basic concepts that is like <coughs> certainly not very deep into it. So, but I guess this this kind of introduction to it. Um, there's just a lot of terminology there you probably need to remember. <coughs> but, uh, okay, so we need a more entertaining way to remember this, so here's what I come on with. So, Do you want to uh, quickly go over the key concept of factory with It's an open book, uh, but you know how the strategy works? It's still the one actually first answer get the point. Yeah, so, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we, I want the four equal size the team. At least more or less equal size. some fake money to start Raise your hand. 
so I don't know which one is her, but I don't think it's that one. <laughs>
Because usually when it's the last day, it's the last day. Yeah. I'm the main guy. Why do you think her? Okay, okay. Yeah, let's see about the two This one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, are we being a pencil? Are we being a pencil? Are we being a Oh, right. <laughs> oh, my God, I love that one. Uh, okay, 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 do three. What do we pick? Uh, paper, I need you. Uh, uh, paper, uh, let's go with working with viruses in 200. Yay. Okay. Oh, Christian, I love that one. That one is so funny. I thought I was going to win And you know I'm crazy, so you don't know how to just make it like that.
I guess it's you may be confused with the bacteria shape. Yeah. Oh, because that's a symmetry. That's why. But that's in the textbook. <laughs> it's hard to change it. <laughs> okay. Uh, which one? Oh, um, diversity of this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> uh, right now? Uh, yes, this is the uh, three hand. Okay. Yeah. Now what do you get? Thank 
Yeah, this one should be a 500. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about we change this to 500? Okay. okay. Right now. Uh oh. Oh, 
little treasure thing. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Uh, we can Yay. <laughs> Uh, how about like this? What what thousand dollars? That's come on, six
Okay, last question. Uh, last question. That's all. Yeah, you get everything here. Give me all for him. Oh, the last two. What? How is that a 500 level question? Right. We're gonna go with. Be false. When I have plans. <laughs> yeah, she, okay. Oh, is that the one? Wait, wait, you say false, right? We say false. Yeah, yeah. 500. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the best. Uh, we rally up with the money. <laughs> How much do you have? That's my plan. Yeah. Oh, we should have been playing. Oh, we should have Okay, all right. Yay! Yay! Yay. 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 You're awesome, Mike. I don't want that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I don't want that. Thank you. Wait, I was like, oh, I, I, knew. I knew. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, I thought there was a kid. No, it's just the Nola. Okay. Well, that's good. I need something to eat for lunch. Okay, all right. Yeah. Eating something on Okay. This was uh, exciting. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so you can look at your plate and... Uh, yeah. Okay, we've got an A. How about... You got the uh, how, how, why don't you catch the ball and extract... What? Why, why don't you catch the ball and explain to people how, how, how should people speak the plate? Oh, I was like, I had it. I had it. Yeah, yeah, uh, let me, let me I will keep trying. It's like a, 
Since I've been actually giving Haiti you paint that picture. Yes. But, no, <laughs> I want to take it home. No. Like, you know what's funny? Like, when after like summer vacation, whatever, you 